let's talk about a new uh, feature and dashboard that Microsoft has introduced into the Microsoft Azure environment called Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now to get into that, you should just be able to click the menu button and go down there and click it But as a, as a blade. But if you don't see it as one of your favorite blades, all you gotta do is go to the menu button, go to all services and just do a search for the word Defender and you'll see Microsoft Defender for Cloud right there. So what is this? This is a single dashboard, or as, as a lot of people like to call it, a single pane of glass, if you will, like a one, one place you can go that uh, kind of uh, analyzes the overall security of Azure itself, all right? Um, and so the, the goal here is I can get a feel for my overall security features that I have implemented in my Azure environment. So for one, Right out of the gates on the overview, you can see different pieces of information. It tells me about my subscriptions, uh, assessed resources and different resource groups. I've got some recommendations, some security alerts. i got this thing called security posture. I've even got some messages here that talk about some of the new vulnerabilities that have recently been discovered uh, out there. Um, the Microsoft security team, there's over 3,000 people working with Microsoft on this to uh, to discover the newest, latest, and greatest threats, and, and you have different alerts. So you can always, you know, if you're if you're in any kind of security position involving Azure, this can be a great place to kind of go first thing in the morning, kind of look at the latest and greatest threats. Um, but again, this overview just gives you a quick glimpse of a bunch of different uh, items, regulatory compliance, workload protections, inventory. And uh, from there, uh, if I want to take a deeper look at some of these things, I can. Uh, the one thing that I really love about this is the recommendations. I can go here and it's going to give me some security recommendations. You'll even notice a security score, a secure score. You'll, and the secure score is a feature that essentially tells you, um, it looks at all the different resources that I have available in my Azure environment and it, it um, looks at the different security features that could be implemented in regarding those different resources and then it gives me an overall score. score. So you can see that uh, I don't have a very high score, but again, if you've just started a, a new Azure environment, you probably won't have a, a very high score. But then what's really great about this is it gives you recommendations. It tells you some things you could do to strengthen your overall security. So I could enable MFA. They mention uh, this managed access features here I could implement, enable enhancements I could deal with. So there's various things here I could do if I click on those. Like let's go over here in MFA, and if I highlight that, it says MFA should be enabled on all on accounts with owner permissions on subscriptions. If I click that, um, you'll see it tells me here the description of this and the remediation steps, which I really love. I love the fact that they're going to walk me through how I could implement this uh, step by step. So that is what recommendations are. You have security alerts. If it's noticed anything called, uh, involving security um, uh, there, you got this thing down here called security posture. Now, if you're not familiar with that term security posture, security posture is something that a, a company must uh, implement and maintain. It essentially means that as a company or organization, you take uh, security um, seriously and it's something you stay on top of. Posture is not something that you just one and done. Basically, you implement it and then you're good to go for the rest of your, your service. It, it'd be like, uh, here's an analogy for you. Imagine a company uh, that goes out and they bought the, the latest and greatest equipment, the best equipment, newest equipment that has the best security features on it that you could po possibly implement. They've got the best software with security features you could possibly implement. They've they've uh, they've implemented all this in their network, and then they and from there, um, fast forward. So at that moment, they have the best security posture they can have. They've got the best of the everything. Now imagine if you were to fast forward five years from there, and that company has done nothing else. They've not updated anything. They've not you know uh, tested things. They've just imagine if you just jumped five years in the future. 
At that point, five years in the future, you would have terrible security posture because there would be new threats and vulnerabilities that have been discovered and there's no patches and all of that. So security posture is something that, that's maintained. So this means that you know there's new things that are coming out all the time, new security threats that come out all the time. I have to be up to speed on those new threats and I need to uh, be implementing like these rep recommendations and things and then I'll have better score and I'll have a higher security posture. You've also got regulatory compliance, which gets into things like um, com uh, compliance, like involving uh, the, the field you're in, whether it's like HIPAA compliance, if you're in the medical world or government or whatever. Whatever world you're in, um, uh, whatever field you're in, you might have different compliance requirements that you deal with there. But that's what that's going to have to do with. There's what's called workload uh, workload protection that gets into managing your, your things like your virtual servers and uh, things like DNS and all of that stuff. You got a firewall manager. If you had firewalls implemented in Azure, you can you would be able to see all of that here. All right. There's a DevOps uh, for security there. As if you're dealing with developers, this involves what's called DevOps. So there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not getting into. Obviously, the details here. We're really just kind of overviewing this. But the, the the goal of Microsoft Defender for Cloud is to give you sort of a uh, let's say a 20,000 foot view of all the security in your environment and give you recommendations on what you could do to strengthen the defenses of your environment. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.